What's happening? What is this? You can't stay out there for that long, you know? It drains your willpower. If you stay too long, you might lose yourself completely. But I hardly learned anything. Was that it for me? I heard all these all these thoughts and conversations, but I'm not sure how to take it all in at once. Why why were these parts so important in my life? What makes them more important than anything else? How would I know? That's your life, Rick. Your family. Your loved ones. That's my family, alright, so So what happens now? Despite time passing differently in here, you still have many years to spend before you can proceed to your next life. You shouldn't have any unresolved matters before going to the light for the last time. I heard it can cause trouble. Heard? Heard from who? There was another soul here not too long ago. It, it seemed rather simple-minded, you know, like, but somehow funny, like, like a wise old man. So, wait, you're saying now if I enter the light when I'm, I'm out of time and energy, uh, well, I'm still not sure of if, if I want to forget everything and move on, I'll, I'll be in trouble? In layman's terms, yes. You need to make peace with yourself, or your new body might not accept your soul. I don't know, it, it seems pretty simple to me. Right. Well, that means I have no choice. No choice but to focus harder. I need to know. I need to know what happens to my family. Off you go then. I'll snap you out right if you stay too long. Can't lose you this early now, can we? This is Rob Farm. I still can't believe that AJ actually bought this place. I can't even count how many times we've come here to spend the weekend. They seem to enjoy the place. No doubt about it. It's Rob's place, all right. Now that I think about it, he always did a thing for horses. He'd never miss a race when he lived in Avon. My daughter, Suzanne. Dad! Dad, I don't want to go to the doctor. He's mean to me. No. No, 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 no. I don't want to. I hate you.
What I drew? It's me riding a pony at Uncle Rob's stable. Yes, I want to ride a pony. You promise? You're always too busy to ride a pony with me. I hate you. Don't come back home today. Susan used to love swinging in the front yard. No matter how many times she fell off, she'd always climb back on. <laughs> she'd bruise her knees so many times, I'd, I think I lost count before she was three. talked in a while. This is so silly. 
We were given a task today at school. We're supposed to write a letter that'll never be read by anyone. So I decided to send one for you as you aren't here anymore. We're doing fairly well here, given the circumstances. Sylvie graduated not too long ago and started her bachelor studies at Trinity College. She's become, like, so pretty. You wouldn't recognise your own daughter. Mum's fine as well. She spends a lot of time with Vincent these days. They've become, like, best pals over the past few months. She looks happy. Am I really doing this? Simon has moved away some time ago. He got a job somewhere in Dublin and we haven't seen him much at home ever since. Last I heard from him, he had a foreign girlfriend. I myself haven't really changed. Well, I grew taller. I'm nearly as tall as mum now, huh? I remember how I used to tease mum about her height like every day. And we'd always laugh together watching her chase you out from the living room. Listen, I'm going to go now. I have other homework to do. Bye, Dad. my car. Uh, wait. I, I think I remember. I was driving home from Vince's place. We, we had a fight. I, I remember trying to tune the radio in when, when everything got black all of a sudden. That must have been how... That must have been how I died. This must be Sylvie, my eldest daughter. No, I don't want to wake up yet. Daddy, no. Only a few more minutes. Why should I go anyway? Can't we just stay at home and watch Snow White, Daddy, please? You said you liked it too. And you said that you haven't been to the stables before. Why should we start going today? It's even raining. Horses are so stupid anyway. 
Surely someone else can ride them, and we don't have to. Daddy, I don't want to go. I've never even liked horses, so why should I go? This is stupid. I'll go watch Snow White now, whether you're watching it with me or not. a dog barking. Wait, is that Anlam? Master, welcome home. Your pups are safe. I've guarded well today. It is simple work. I like simple work. Do you have food for me? Master, a man come by the house every afternoon. He leaves papers at the door and he drives away in a big car. Your lady always takes the papers to the kitchen. I do not see them after that. I'm suspicious. Why would that man come back every day? We should ride a car with Master later. Maybe we'll find the suspicious man, teach him a lesson. Master, I go to guard more. I will keep you all safe.
on, stop it. We shouldn't be doing this anyway. I told my parents I'd leave Jessie's place, studying after I came back from the stables. <laughs> no, stop it. <laughs> stop tickling me. Don't you remember what my daddy said when you came to introduce yourself? How everything you do to me, he would do to you, right? So, are you now doing all this just so you can get tickled by my old man? Is that what you want? I didn't know you swung that way. <laughs> but seriously, we shouldn't do this. He'd kill me if he knew where I was right now. Sleeping at a guy's house? over my dead body. Remember? strong as I thought I was. I thought I could do this on my own. But three kids alone in a house the size of this is just so difficult. I honestly don't know where you gathered all the strength to push on every day. Every morning and all day. I have to pretend that I'm strong. That I can make it. As soon as the day is over, I can lock myself in our bedroom and quit pretending that I am strong. That is the highlight of my daily routine now. I sit and cry all night long until I fall asleep on a wet pillow. My dearest Rick, because you are gone and that I am here alone, I don't have the strength to be strong. I can't do this without you, Rick. Please come back to me. Please give me a sign so I know you can hear this. Can you please just come back home?
Rick. 